guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am going to talk about deodorants i could only land up with two or three products and i'll be sharing those in this video and i'll be also sharing the reason why i didn't choose the other ones so yeah let's get started <laughs> First of all, sweating is a mechanism done by the human body to protect you from the heat and it actually helps us from the heat strokes. So yeah, the mechanism of sweating is very beneficial to us. In the mechanism of sweating, the fatty oils are converted to fatty acids in the sweat and a foul smell is released in the process and these are all done by bacteria now in men it has been found that coronary bacteria is a kind of bacteria which is more in men and that's why men tends to smell more foul than women but anyways coming to human race and culture it also depends on your gene and it has been found that korean people tend to sweat very less or in fact insignificant compared to the other races in the world <music> So deodorants try to mask the smell and antiperspirants tends to mask the mechanism of sweating by it helping us not to sweat at all. Now aluminium and zirconium are two such elements which are found to be present in antiperspirants. However, it has been found that they are not at all cancerous as it is propagated throughout the internet in recent times. So it is completely fine. However, it can be a bit irritating. Coming to the second point, there are a lot of deodorants in the form of natural and by, by the term natural, they have used baking soda in their ingredient list and that is not at all acceptable because the underarm area is even more acidic than the skin on our face. Baking soda will make it alkaline and any product with baking soda will render that product alkaline. I have gone through a lot of products in Indian market and I couldn't find many of them which like complies by all the standards and that's why this is my list so i have divided into three parts in the first part i will show you all the products which are like not suitable according to the ingredient list and in the second part i will show you my recommendation and in the third part i can give you future recommendations and all other products which you might try which i didn't try so I have avoided all these controversial ingredients in all of the products which I am recommending in this video. Well this one had baking soda. This one had triclosan. Well I don't quite like this brand. This one was quite expensive. Degas antiperspirant. I have talked about it in my 2020 favorites and I have been using this for almost a year and it does help me to control the sweat, the foul smell of the sweat and it does give a very good coverage throughout the day. I have used it personally for almost a year and this doesn't contain baking soda. It, it contains however kaolin clay so instead of baking soda they have put kaolin clay and that's what it is very good and it contains vitamin E oil, shea butter so it does moisturize even the underarm as virgin coconut oil and cocoa butter and yeah this is a very good formulation however I don't like the packaging as I have already expressed in that video as well. Coming to the second product which I have used is the super smelly toxin free deo spray. Now this is for people who are more prone to smell bad and this is having a strong smell so this is generally for men and it does have denatured alcohol and all those things but i have checked the ph and it was quite fine i mean it is not alkaline this does contain alcohol of vegetable origin and it was like it did perfectly fine on my skin however there were some review comments in amazon where they have expressed problem with this so i will i am not sure for me it did perform well but for you if it does irritate then i think you have to top it up on your cloth and not on your skin directly so i am not sure but for me it did well Coming to the third product which is my favorite is the Mama Art Body Mist for Babies. This is absolutely amazing. I like the smell because it has a very sober and very gentle smell and I don't like those intense perfume. I am 
I, I can't tolerate intense perfume and that's why I completely love this one. So those of you who don't like a lot of perfume, I think this is the one which you could go for because this is suitable for babies and it is alcohol free and also a certified allergen free. I've been using this for quite some time now and I am really impressed with this Mama product. So yeah, that was my third recommendation. Well, if you are suffering from back acne or body acne, you could try out this one. I have shared this on my Instagram, I guess, long back. This is a Perobar 5% having anhydrized benzoyl peroxide. It helps to get rid of your acne. Now, apart from all of these products, I have like I have gone through some of the ingredient list in some of the products which I have not purchased it myself because for me it is really difficult to finish off all the products it will be lying on my shelf useless and that's why I thought that I can share my recommendations you are free to choose yours so the first and foremost is the juicy chemistry one which does contain all good ingredients and has essential oils however like in perfume obviously you are expecting some essential oils or some fragrance and yeah I think that should be fine but however I have heard that the juicy chemistry one doesn't mask you from foul smell for a longer period of time so if you have done heavy exercise and all it might not be able to like mask it. Second is Vilva. Vilva's deodorants are also equally good like the Degas one. I don't have one with me. Yeah, those were some of the recommendations from deodorants and I hope this video will be useful to some of you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video and share it with your family and friends. Yeah, see you in my next video super soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.